we're back, and we're going to move on to Diamond Heights tonight, but I did want to go into our Leafy Lake save, show you what I've been up to. Been working on it a bit. I'm pretty pleased with how it's coming along. So we've got our entrance here. We've I added a lot of trees to kind of go for that like forest lake theme that we started with. We had to hire a security guard. Where is he? Sam, the security guard. He patrols right at the entrance because this is just like a nexus for country. I don't know why. It's like people come in and they're already in a foul mood, so they smash things. Or if they're on their way out and they're in a foul mood, they smash things. So just the benches and garbage cans right by the entrance and our first food court where we're getting fucking hammered. I thought I could take care of it by just keeping it tidy with janitors, but no, I had to put a patrol route for one security guard. So he's just keeping an eye on people, you know, maybe quickly billy clubbing them when the security camera is not looking. We had to get rid of the boat hires because I was just so fucking tired of people getting stuck in them. So we've got a little, just a little path here you can come and sit on. It helps like slow down the traffic. Fat cow doesn't like my bumper car roof. There's really nothing you can do about the bumper car roof, unfortunately. That's just what bumper cars always look like. Uh, what's going on here? We got the train. I haven't really done anything over here. I think we filled out this shuttle loop with some trees. Um, this section's been getting a little busier. Let's rotate it. Pirate ship at the hedge maze. Put a Ferris wheel over here. Round out this section. More trees, of course. Have like a nice little uh, terraced flower bed sort of thing as you go upstairs into the upper part. We unlocked the go-karts. It's year seven now. I have all the rides unlocked. So we have some go-karts here. So you drive around above the train tracks. It's a very exciting go-kart ride for how big it is. Actually, never mind. It's only three. Yeah, the important thing about it is it's kind of quick, I hope. Let's double check the queue time on our go-karts. Queue time is five minutes, which isn't that bad. Then we've got some TVs there to keep them calm. So people like waiting in line. You walk under. It's very, there's a little overpass there. Got the French fly unlocked, so we put one of those down. Wound up getting rid of the boat hire on this side too, so we put another food court. We've got the popcorn stall and the pizza shop. I don't think these things even turn much of a profit for us because they're so close to the others. 160 an hour, that's not too bad. 150 an hour. Huh, they do not want ice cream. I think the ice cream does shit because you're much more likely to come this way and walk and hit this one first as opposed to coming from the uh, other roller coaster and hit this ice cream did i complete my objective we did beat this park already last time so we completed our objective on year three it's year seven right now we managed to pay off our loan we make make about six seven thousand dollars a year so not much changed over here we have some trees of course Unlock the space ring, which is just a generic gentle ride. I gave a little space entrance. Got some nice gardens and trees on the waterfront. Da -da -da -da. Let's go uphill. That's where a lot of the new changes are. Start off with my fucking Omega Moneymaker I set up. It's just two shuttle loops that are mirrored, and they're synced up, so they go at the exact same time. And because it's next to another ride, is they go fucking crazy for this thing. It makes, I think each one makes us about $8,000. $8,000 per hour each. And then right outside, I put a souvenir stall because they're just driven to spend money at it when they like my park. So they come out all happy. They want to buy fucking souvenirs. The souvenir stand makes us $300 per hour. Some of these things are really old because we're on year seven. I could probably give our revenue a real jump start replacing a lot of these things with new ones, but we haven't done that. This, uh, this car is just utter shit. It, I had to make it free so people will ride it. People still don't want to ride it. It's a giant piece of garbage. I should bulldoze it, but I don't know what to put there. Put a little chain link fence around it. Got the observation tower here. That's actually really fucking exciting. Holy fuck. I think it's because it can see so many rides when it goes up there. It's 250 right at the observation tower now. There you go. Hey, there you go. So yeah, it's over the train. You can see all these things. It goes up fairly high. 
not too high because I want the queue to be nice and short. What's the queue time on this observation tower? One minute. We're laughing. Go karts and that. Yeah, so let's just move deeper into this. This is the uh, the least finished area. I put it in a roller coaster. Mouse towers. It's a preset. You've you've never seen me build a roller coaster it's because I can't. But this thing does pretty well for itself. Uh, we make three thousand dollars an hour. That's not too bad. It's really compact, which is what I like about it. How's this, uh, the Lost Lunch? Lost Lunch brings in a lot of money. Imagine putting two Lost Lunches next to each other. That would probably clear... Might clear $10,000 an hour. And we put in a Ferris wheel, and we have a Space Rings over here. Put in a pizza shop. Again, the food's probably... Food's probably too close together, but at the same time, um, the people might not wait in line, so they'll get food in another place. I'm not sure that might not be real. Uh, but yeah, that's 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 Leafy Lakes right now. I'm gonna keep working on it. This is like my when I'm not recording park. I like it. Maybe we'll visit it again if some more stuff happens to it. But yeah, I filled out the scenery. I like it. I'm digging it. Hopefully. Uh, some of the things we've learned. Oh, we did clear 2,000 guests. I wasn't sure we were going to be over 2,000 when I showed it off. But we did clear 2,000 guests on this. It's getting harder and harder because... Well, actually, that's probably the reason we made 2,000. Is I had a real problem earlier with just people being really angry and smashing benches. It's because we didn't have enough handymen cleaning up puke. There's some puke right there. Let's see how long it takes a handyman to get it. But... Uh, yeah, just like the puke and the litter was piling up and then people were getting angry and vandalizing things and that was making them angry. But uh, we sorted that out. We have our security guard in like the nexus of danger. That handyman is not coming. We might need another handyman there. Oh, there's a broken bench actually. But uh, it's one of the top complaints in my park is that it's too crowded. But because our park rating is so high, that actually doesn't fucking matter. It's just like crowding is something that makes them upset, but they're they're just too fucking jovial. Look at this dopey motherfucker. I man, I love Leafy Lakes. Whoa, what do you got? You got a balloon, a toy, a map, an umbrella. Fucking, he's he's got all the pieces of the puzzle to have fun. But yeah, there's a there's a lot of open room on this lake. If I want to go for something, like we could just start putting some promenades. And I forgot to look up if Promenade is actually a bridge that goes over water. We can start putting bridges over this water and hook rides up to it. There's, we can probably put a big boy roller coaster back here. We haven't made any water rides. We have, uh, we have a bunch now. We have the old fashioned like rubber raft slide. We got the log plume. We got the twirly bird log ride, the river rapids. Those things can get pretty bulky, so I don't have any placed yet. But a lot of. A lot of room for potential, but, you know, I think we squeeze a lot into the room we have. Justin, where are these streams going up on YouTube? Yep, they are. I've just, uh, I've fallen behind. I've fallen behind on the YouTube uploading of the streams, but enough of that. Let's save it, because I did fix a couple benches there. Leafy Lake. All right. And we're off to the menu for Diamond Heights. Our objective is to achieve a park value of at least $200,000, which is, um, I think it's all the rides value combined. Diamond Heights is already a successful theme park with great rides. Develop it to double its value in three years. So let's pause it. Let's see what we got here. Snake River Falls. There's some really big rides on this map. I do, I do stream on YouTube, like I stream live, but also the archive does go on YouTube later. And uh, yeah, I try to stream on both because some people, they just don't like Twitch on principle or Twitch when it's bad for them. So, you know, I try to give you the options so you can watch the exciting world of Roller Coaster Tycoon however you wish. But there was just, there was a problem with the first Roller Coaster Tycoon stream and I had to re-upload it. 
and then that I, I can't upload the second one if the first one's not ready it's just fucking some slowpoke organization shit on my part they'll start going up tomorrow if you're uh looking to watch these in your leisure time oh fuck i forgot about this park this is as far as i ever got as a kid because i was always intimidated and never finished this park I think these ones actually cha these uh these are dueling roller coasters just like my shuttle loops on the last map. Uh, how much do these guys bring in? Five thousand dollars an hour. Five thousand dollars an hour, and I could be making more than that on my shuttle loops. They've already got a railroad, the Indiana Jane Railroad. So I think we'll get a lot of fucking potential done. Incorporating these rides with other rides. The super secret trick to this one is to just replace all the rides at the last second because that updates their value. See, these things are two years old. Two years is a long fucking time in a roller coaster tycoon. So, yeah, we don't have a lot of land available. Max our funding out. Let's see what our. Holy shit, we literally have no money. $25,000 is pretty good to start because um, to have, we'll see. We'll see if we're actually going to make any money. A lot of good land over here. See so yeah, we got to figure out where people are going. we got to figure out what they want to do, what they like, what they're thinking. Capitalize on it. That guy's sitting. He's, he might be shitting in a moment. I'm hungry. I feel sick. I want to go on something worth owning the train. Roller coasters were great. Thirsty. Okay, so first order of business is I don't think there's any fucking snacks. There's literally nothing to eat or drink in this park. How the fuck are you a successful park? Doesn't the loan fuck with your park evaluation at the end? The loan fucks with our company value, but we're only going for our park value on this level. So park value is everything in the park. And then our company value is everything in the park. And then our expenses and our income fiddle with it. Park value. So yeah, we just have to double the value of all the rides in our park. How are we doing for food? All right. There's literally nothing to fucking drink. That's a problem. And we don't want these people getting sick. So let's make sure that low intensity, low nausea. Let's give these guys a fucking pizza pie to celebrate. What the hell is wrong with this guy? Oh, I don't know. This is the park for me. Don't worry, fella. We'll perk you right up. Soon they'll be calling this the best theme perk in the country. Yes. What I like to do is, is uh, when you have a shop, I like to put a brick wall right there. No reason. See, this is a lesson I wish I learned on uh, Leafy Lakes is they will wait in queue for the train. How the fuck long is this line? We might have to optimize some of these queue times. Five minute queue? That's nothing. I, I do have a drink stand? No, I don't. This is the ice cream stand. The ice cream doesn't give drinks. That's food. I'm 5% sure that's just for food. We've got the information kiosk. And I don't think I have a single one of those. I don't. These poor bastards are going to get lost the second they come into my park. Let's fix that right now. Get these trees out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. We're going to go with tarmac here just because I don't want to repave the whole fucking thing. All right. Let's get the information kiosk up and running. Now, the problem is everyone already in here doesn't have a fucking map. All right, let's just try to find the stations, and that's where we'll put our... Oh, fuck, please tell me there's stations. Please tell me it's a getting around railroad and not just a, hey, welcome to our park, put on your cowboy hat and ride this for 20 minutes railroad. All right, it's the sec It's the first thing I said. There's the station. Weak and... Can't put the kiosk right there. This is a fucking janky little corner. Okay, here we go. Maybe I think get the fuck out of my way, man. Look at this.
I put the kiosk here. Yeah, I'll put the kiosk there. Don't need every, don't need every side of it available, but you know, a couple sides. It's more chances for people to touch it and want to use it. There you go. Those fucking idiots didn't have maps. They just been scrawling notes on toilet paper. Holy fuck, do I have bathrooms? There is not a single bathroom in this park. They're just going in the woods like bears. What would be most intense? Let's get the fucking rides out of the way so I can see what I'm fucking doing. Okay, this is a problem. Not only. There we go. We're not going to charge for the toilet. You could charge 10 cents. But we're not going to do that. So I'm very worried about completing this one. Uh, so they come out to here. Let's put a food stand here. Have some ice cream. Help yourself to the shitter over on this side. I don't think shitters cost us too much money, so I'm going to be a little liberal with them just because we don't have any set up right now. All right, what the hell is this? Yeah, this is agoraphobia. What the hell is this? That's just doppelganger shit. Nope, that'll make you that'll make you drop a log. I used to charge I charge for the bathrooms on Leafy Lake. Ten cents offsets the cost. I think twenty cents actually helps you break even on a toilet if it gets enough poops in it. Is this boat? I'm trying to find the sweet spot. Okay. Okay, so like this, this area here is the nexus. If we can just get a pooper around here somewhere. Get some benches for these poor bastards. Probably tired of shit from that. I like to put them near the exit because that's usually when you feel the shittiest. I am dropping frames, that sucks. Uh, it might be bad on both platforms. The local, the local recording when we're all done will be good. Hey, there's the drink stall. That's we we need that because these guys are really fucking thirsty. So there's some over there. There's an information kiosk. Where the fuck did I put that pizza? It is right over here. Terraform that. Here we go. I don't have a welcome to my park bathroom. Because that's if, you know, the parking lot's really big and you can't get to your car in time. You might want to drop a deuce. This is gonna be a nightmare to have handymen take care of everything. So I might skimp on the gardens, but the gardens also might raise our park value. So maybe not. All right, so they can eat, they can drink, they've got maps. We've sorted out the shops part of our problem. How are we doing for park value? But look at that, we've gone up maybe a couple thousand bucks. So if I'm not mistaken, we can just save all these roller coaster designs and then replace them in the final year, and that'll give us a real shot in the arm. Arachnophobia, where's agrophobia? Right there it is. And I don't know. Claustrophobia and agrophoria, okay, they, they fight. And then arachnophobia, 
is just, uh, just it's a similar name. I would very much like to get some general rides and stuff set up here, but we'll just approach this the way I approached my leafy like offline plays. We'll just go sector by sector, try to fill up the space best we can. They have merry-go-rounds and slides already, but uh, I think if they're spaced out far enough, we might get away with it. Of course, the problem is that there's no fucking room for these things. Okay, this is the entrance. Yes, this is the exit. Yes. Wow, I did that backwards. Idiot alert. There's a lot of fucking elevator walkways in this park, that's for sure. What the hell are these guys? They're just taking pictures of the fucking log flume. Get a life. Go spend some money in my park, goddammit. I'm actually not sure if they can take pictures if there's something on the side. Let's find out. Uh, it looks like maybe they wanted to stand in the corners for picture time. We'll see, though. We'll see if this... Oh, they can stand there. They can stand there and take pictures. So they really like log flow. Excitement 6. I don't fucking blame them. Wow. We could probably raise the price on that, but I'm worried because of its age. It is. Built last year. We're raising the price to $4. What's the queue time? 13 minutes. They're going to get mad even if fucking... Whew. What happens if I block the entrance? They, uh, they get really angry, but because they can't leave, tough shit. That's good if you're... Uh, not gonna pull off a minimum number of guests at the last second you can just trap them the police don't come to investigate the kidnapping luckily we can do something like this because one it's just fucking cool right over the log flume Two, we can fill in some space there. All right, this is the... Built in the wrong spot, never mind. Or did I? I think I did. I think this is going to be really janky if I try to place this. this part of it that's the entrance that's the exit make the exit one way for sure that's going to be a lot of dead space for people to be waddling around on believe I fucked up the spacing on that one. It's like they were both too far. It's a little embarrassing. Let's get some bitchin' tunes on this one. And I need that one-way sign so people don't go waddling in. The one-way sign is exactly what it sounds like. Is you're not allowed to go by unless you work on the staff. So they can go back there and clean shit up. We unlock the twist. a lot of useful space but I also don't want a lot of nothing paths I want them always doing something see here we go let's get a twist over the water here um, 
the twist can be like two. Do something like that. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. That roller coaster is too fucking big. Okay, okay, we'll just do it like this then. Not the busiest twist, but use up all that space we can. I think this one might turn out really messy because I'm kind of going to be moving at a fast pace here, hoping we can uh, achieve our goal. Oh, fuck. We've already got the shuttle loops. we got to find a good spot for a dueling shuttle loop, and that'll just skyrocket our potential. I think this right here might be good. Give me some space. I think that'll work. The tricky part will be getting down to the ground. That sounds like a problem for later on me, though. And then we just do the other thing on the other side. And then the trick here is we mirror the loop. That'd look right. I don't know, maybe, man. Oh, fucking, I've already blown it. Thirty five. The fuck? Okay, we do have a side. Yes, and then we just color code them. One's green. And uh, one's yellow. You know, try to pick the most offensive colors. Alright, then let's see if we can just fucking get the get the cue down to ground level. Like this. So that the cue can connect, and then we'll just slowly. Oh no. This. We are in. Now we just got to do this. Oh, fuck. How am I going to connect the other part, too? Uh, so, yeah, we got to cue this up. Oh, she's fucking tall enough. Not for the next part, though. I'm stupid. Shit. Oh, shit. Wow, that is like no fucking room. Oh, that's a fucking real goofosaurus, maybe. Let's see if I can fucking salvage it over on this side. Or just maybe the queue will be really small. And just hope people always want to get on. Oh, 
comes up high. And down. Flat. Down this way. Okay, there we go. Back in action. Fucking idiot just got to queue up somehow. Switch the entrance and exit. That might work. That just, that's just crazy enough to work, Justin. I really want to get this nailed down because I have the feeling a uh, dueling dueling coasters is just a great foundation for money. So we can just that'll be our ace in the hole when we get a real shitter park. It's also fairly compact. I mean, the line isn't, but the actual rides are pretty fucking tiny for what they are. All right, there you go. Now, of course, the most difficult part is we just have to get these exits to meet up over there somehow. Over on these stairs. Shit. That is so fucking high. On the yellow one, they can exit underneath the queue. Can they? Not enough clearance. Not enough clearance, unfortunately, but we can make this one janky as shit and just make it one way. So don't sweat it. Whoops, I went, I'm, I'm using my fucking fancy man tiles. That's not how we do things on Diamond Heights. Maybe we should though. This fucking is just an incredibly ugly support pillar. Don't mind the tree. Now, of course, the problem here is it's going to take him forever to run back to the ride to hop on, because that's what people usually do if they find a ride they fucking have a boner for. Man, how do I keep miscalculating this? Good lord. There we go. We go up. We go up. There we go. This is the important part. This is what this is what stops the whole thing from falling apart on us. In one way. God damn it, that's fucking ugly. Flat at the exit, turn and meet him, guy. Well, that one can't make it either. Oh well. Two, three. Flatten out, off you go. Again, we want a one way here. Goodbye, garbage can. Can only be built across paths. Well, you're about to fuck me here, game, if someone walks in there. There, oh, there we go. Fucking, that's the trick. Done. 
And then this is, this is how you do it. You wanna make sure they're synchronized with adjacent stations. So they both go off at the same time. Shuttle loop one is open. There we go, they should be fucking lining up now. The hell is this? A lot of fucking pussies walking by. I couldn't figure out. I couldn't figure out a, a more elegant way to get those over there. But uh, silver lining is we can turn these into like uh, food courts, or we can put some gentle rides here. Like we could put a twist if we wanted. If we want to capitalize on this open space here. Which I mean, I kind of do. Let's, let's do that. Let's fucking do that. That's your exit. The green key is really growing on me right here. Open for business. You're not one way anymore. Welcome. All right. Excitement value five. So let's bump that up to three bucks. What's that phone? Excitement value five. Bump that up to three bucks. We could bump it all the way up to four or five, but I don't want to like lose track of time and people start hating it. How do you get the massive grid when holding shift? Um, I want to say it's one of your options when you're trying to place certain rides. Rides and stalls. I think I don't think that'll happen on like go kart or roller coaster. The debug menu open. I was helping a friend uh, debug a problem later. We're not using a fan console though. In case you're curious, he was having a problem where he wasn't allowed to change the value for ride admission, even though the park admission was free. And that's because in Roller Coaster Tycoon, you either let them into the park for free, or you let them ride every ride for free. If you're playing a Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 mission, uh, in this, the Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 engine is it tries to force that. So he went into Leafy Lakes. And it was letting everyone uh, ride for free, and he didn't want that. Um, also, another person asked me today is uh, Time Travel Astronaut. Game looks kind of weird in high resolution. How come yours doesn't? I have my window scale factor at two, so it looks more like the original, like 1024 by 768, even though we're running at uh, 1920 by 1080. But I am trying to figure out why we have the grids. Grid lines on landscapes. Uh, uh, what the fuck? I, uh, I don't know. I don't know why you can't press shift on your rides, dude. We just got the Ferris wheel, though, so let's uh, plop a couple of those fuckers down. One right here. We want it. Now, this is something else I learned, is that uh, when you're trying to calculate the excitement bonus, the park with the worst food in the country. Wow, fuck you. When Ride's calculating the excitement based on ne nearby things, it's an area that's 5x5 five five around the yellow arrow on your ride. So, see, this should give us a bonus for being next to the shuttle loop. It should give us a bonus for being next to both shuttle loops, actually. By the way, this is our exit, fucking like a glove. This is our entrance. Let's double check our Ferris wheel because it's important the Ferris wheel is only on one rotation. Perfect. So there you go. We turned we just turned a convoluted exit into a new area of the park. You show a little respect for my haphazard building. How many people are still hungry? I feel sick. I'm hungry. There's 20 fucking people that are still hungry. It's because they're in line forever.
excitement. Jesus Christ, let's raise the fucking price. No, they're already five dollars each. Forget about it. None of the people are getting on these shuttle loops. It's because our park is really empty, I think. But oh well. Car ride, I'm not gonna build a car ride on principle because we got fucked so hard on our last park by them. We're making another gentle ride. My money's on hedge maze. If I was a betting man, that's where I'd say it's going. Where's the pirate ship we built? We built one over here, didn't we? Yep. Uh, you know what? I think we're far enough away that we can build another one. Oh, yeah. I doubled and tripled up on rides way further than this before. We have a pirate ship right here. That should be close enough to uh, be considered near. Should be close enough to be considered near the uh, agrophobia and claustrophobia. So let's just make sure I've cut the terrain properly here. Okay, let's do this. Such a tiny one. I am not where I thought I was. Oops. Give me that money back. We're not building a pirate ship there. Huh. <laughs> Could build a pirate ship right here. That'll be easy peasy. I think. See, that's not actually high enough. It's because I think the, yeah, the support pillars, it can only go like 10 feet off the ground. It seems to go from one ride to another. Oh, sorry, it varies from one ride to another how high your supports can handle. Okay. Now I can't build the exit. Fuck. The tricky thing about the pirate ship is that these ones on the end, we're not allowed to build on them. And we go down, 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 down. Got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Two tile Q is not too shabby for a pirate ship. We should probably put some rock music on both these shuttle loops now that I think about it. Unfortunately, I think they're out of loop. Uh, Justin wants me to call that pirate ship the C word. Sure, man. Yeah, it's just all these walkways aren't giving me much room for gardens and shit. 174,000, we're almost at the requisite park value. So then we just gotta stay afloat for a couple of years, and we're good. Man, young TTA was a fucking coward. This one's super easy. Our park value will decay over time as our rides get older, so we'll just have to see if uh, we start fucking bleeding value. not making money. Uh, we're making money. Holy shit. We got the maze. I fucking called it. I told you it was going to be maze. I think the rides generally get unlocked in a similar order. Um, let's see if we can shove something into this hill. I would really like for the chocolate log to make a reappearance in this park. And I don't think it'll be too difficult. Ah, oh, fuck, I can't fit on this lake, really. Thought for sure.
The bumblebee. That's a tiny one. Could you not be fucking suspended above the ground? What's this gonna cost me? Think that'll fit. I might not. I might be fucking reading this wrong. I might be misreading this. I think I am. This tree out of the way. I can't fucking see what I'm doing. Oh, this will fit. Look at that. I think that queue is way too fucking long. The best value park in the country. Hey there. Turn that bitch on. See how many people want to ride the Bumblebee, which for some reason is, I guess the car is kind of, okay, I guess it's like white and black and then it's blue because it's the sky. Interesting track. Very fucking worried about this queue duration though. Five people per tile. Oof. Probably gonna want an entertainer, maybe some QTVs. Yeah, see, your park value is going down now. Huh. What are you going to do? All right, these shuttle loops are putting in their, putting in their work. Get another janitor on call here. Two handymen? We're playing uh, Diamond Heights right now. Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. Oh, man, look at even the park rating is great. 900 guests. More guests means more people on the shuttle loops. Guests are complaining about the disgusting state of perhaps in your park. Let's hire. Let's make it five handymen. Hope they pass. Spread out. There's a lot of room that we can still leverage. Like, let's put a slide over here. Why not, you know? Slide's not that great, but there's room. We definitely won't be doing any of that flower shit I was doing on Leafy Lakes. Just no space for it. I do want to... do. old entrance exit give them the old unlimited rides three people at once let's get a hedge maze something i noticed i forgot to mention this on leafy lakes is you can actually let a lot of fucking people into your maze i guess that's why that one wacky maze on reddit that like traps people for hundreds of years works is because they just let everybody into it oh this thing's really big i don't know if i want to do this uh, do the castle maze find some room for it we can put on the island I think eh, maybe not actually because they can't enter and exit at the same spot so you kind of need some thoroughfare I want to take advantage of this put something here well fuck why don't I just put the maze there Probably because I'm going to spend all my money terraforming at Brain. And you... We can't elevate... Oh, that's weird. Well, this mini maze might be off the table. If there's a way to make it work, but I don't want to bother. Is that guy okay? Oh, he's watching it. I didn't think he'd watch it when he was in the queue. That's neat. 
Also, that's an interesting approach. I wonder if that's on purpose on the designer's part, is all the exciting rides flying by make you happy while you wait. That's a three minute queue. What was the one I was worried about? I was worried about this one. Average queue time is two minutes, really? I guess it's two cars. Holy shit, those cars hold a lot of people now that I think about it. Four passengers per car, 24. So yeah, we can grab five tiles at a time. So yeah, that queue probably wouldn't get too big. Uh, let's get a bathroom in here. That's flush. I think there's mods that'll add other people to your park, like different looking people. I could put in a boat hired. I guess we're not really building on the water, so I might do that. Mouse Towers, this is the one I had in my last park. The Leafy Lake had a Mouse Towers. This design will be built with an alternative vehicle type and may not perform as expected. It performed pretty well for me on Leafy Lake, so let's fucking be honest here. I think that's the right elevation. We're gonna find out right now. 16 p oh right this the reason this one's great is they're always in motion so the line's always like churning but i still don't think we want it to be too huge let's just do one coil okay your park has received an award for being the park with the best roller coasters it's because we've got a lot of fucking roller coasters Hard value coming. 192, we're almost there. I think the hard part's just gonna be staying in the black and uh, keeping people, everybody in. I do not celebrate Kwanzaa. What do you got for me? 677, amazing. This is a $4 roller coaster. And it's just always churning people, good turnover. I forgot to talk about that. Maybe I did talk about it when I was showing off the go-kart in Leafy Lakes, but I like these rides where it's just like, as soon as a car gets to the station, it empties and another dude gets in. So like you're, the line's draining slowly as opposed to chunks like on a roller coaster. But it's also good because if you set your go-kart track to race mode is once someone wins, he gets a victory lap and everybody's got to fucking wait till he finishes and then everybody gets off. So if you're if your if your go kart track's too fucking big, that'll cause problems for you. The other great thing about most towers is you don't have to wait for a full load; you just get in. It's like a streetcar; just hop on. Well, there you go, two hundred one thousand dollars. Now we just got to stay in the green. I might not, I, maybe I'm not supposed to be at 200,000 park value right now because we're in open RCT. We might have some rides available that you're not supposed to have just yet on Diamond Heights. So I don't know if this is, you know, a legit clear, no world record for us. Where's a good dinghy slide? What is this? Demon drop, demon drop with Q. 
That's a fucking big one. That's a $2,000 uh, water slide. Oh man, there's not really any fucking good places for this. Without making an abomination queue again. Put a railroad stop right here if you wanted to, but no, you should, uh, should always have a path. Are there poutine stands in the Canadian version of this game, TTA? I wish. You can probably mod those in. I was looking earlier today for uh, some like modded assets because I wanted uh, I wanted more queues and more road path types, but I couldn't really find any. Because it's like it's, it's an old game, but it's not super popular, so it's kind of hard to find communities all in one place. Like there's no there's no mod nexus for Roller Coaster Tycoon. You don't like Demon Drop? Demon Drops, I think Demon Drop's a default slide. The default slides could be better. It's 4.6. 4.6 is pretty good. Like, that's a piece of shit. Excitement 2? No. This one is just fucking ridiculous. I think this is a dueling water slide. I think I think these are doing more the slides. Oh man, that's a cheap one. Oh never mind, that's as much demon drop. That's a nice compact one. What the hell am I talking about? That's not compact at all. Whoa. Keep that park. Oh yeah, she's still going up. As long as our dinosaur roller coasters don't degrade in value right at the end, we should be just fine. How's the research coming? Spinning wild mouse. All right, we have enough fucking water rides and roller coasters, transport rides. No, I, scenery and theming is cool, but I actually need to make money. Okay, so I want shops. I want thrill rides. I want gentle rides. I want to watch my income. Fucking scratch that. We just made $3,000. Thanks to the power of the dueling shuttle loops. $2,000 an hour, that's actually terrible. We were making $8,000 an hour. Look at the line for that slide. Jesus Christ. Let's five people on. That's why. I should let five people on my slide. I don't like to put cues on slides because... Uh, If a guy doesn't want to fucking get off, then the queue gets too big. I swore I built a slide. I built a slide by the railroad station. There she is. There she is. Let's just have more people on. There you go. Hop on, brother. That slide is lit. Short stuff slide. 197 is pretty fucking good for slide. Let's look at our other slide. No test results yet. What the fuck? How exciting would you say this slide? Eh, I think I need to collect more data. Whee! I'm glad we're making so much money because we're probably just going to have to fucking spam handy them to keep the messes at bay. It definitely won't be ready for the next part, but I do want to try to figure out if I can rig up a uh, four dueling coasters, because I think four dueling coasters will be really good. I think after four, the, the queue just becomes a logistical nightmare, so we won't be doing that. But uh, yeah, two dueling slides. People are impressed. Not enough fucking people are hearing about this. Look at how cute. Look at how slow this queue's filling up. Big River Falls is broken down. Park value still rising. Yeah, there's not a lot of information to use, unfortunately, about this game. I like games with, like, the heat maps and stuff. So we can see, it's like, oh, like, where are people getting hungry? They're getting hungry right here, so we'll put some shit down. It's like, show me just puke, but... Kind of have to manually fiddle with all the views. I'm not. I'm not doing a puke view check right now. Uh, 
we got probably not enough handymen. Each handyman, like I said, can reliably cover 30 tiles, and I think we have more than 150 tiles path. Three hundred to four hundred tiles of path. We should be able to take control of. I think the problem is the roller coasters. They're creating like these hot spots for puke, and they're slowing down my guys. Grimbles, gallopers, Jiminy Jillikers, Jiminy Jillikers, Jiminy Jillikers. Let's. Ooh, does the fucking hedge maze fit here? It does, but I keep forgetting the hedge maze doesn't. Uh, now, the one thing that I could do is uh, you could just make like a total shit maze just for there, just so there's a ride that has value and it's increasing your value. But I don't think that's a good use of money. I don't think that the hedge maze is dense value if you're trying to just farm it out. Uh, I can't remember. What's the underground view look like? Nothing here. We could probably sink down the spooky house. Um, I do want a queue though, so that. All the way to the top, huh? Oh, I remember from last time, this is gonna fuck up my bank account. A lot. That's not too bad, actually. I guess it's because we were flattening like nine by nine. Put in an elephant mascot. I don't like to use entertainers. Entertainers are really only for if people get really angry in one spot or if one of your lines is too big. And you can avoid both those situations with good planning, I think. We really over terraform this. Jesus Christ. Not that much money. What's the what's the terraforming readout for today? This month we spent six uh, seven hundred dollars, more than the house is gonna make probably. But you know, hopefully we're close enough to detect the uh, agrophobia. Haunted House wants a bit of a cue, so we'll do this. Business. Spooky music. Let's get a bench. And let's give him a little candy stand or something here. Do I have cotton candy available yet? Ice cream. Treat yourself. You know what, mate? Nah, we'll terraform this. We'll flatten this. Treat yourself to some ice cream at Diamond Heights. Looking out those bottom floor windows, that's what makes it haunted. Look at that. Excitement 3, because it's close to the other rides. You need to have some fucking faith. I'm testing the haunted house, just like <laughs> this one janitor is like, I'd say that I was a uh, three. On a scale of one to ten, that was a three for spooky. All right, open it up. Put a spooky haunted tree there. Oh, look at that. I have different trees available this time. Odd. Probably because I'm not researching any scenery. There's no fucking spooky trees. There. Spooktacular. Park value is lowering. Now I'm getting worried. 
Because if it starts, well, haste not. This is a completely different park. You missed the beginning when I was showing off the good park. All right, this, what the fuck's wrong with this one broken down? Oh no. I too. Got a lot of roller coasters, so you just have two fucking mechanics keeping an eye on it though. Why the hell is this no entry? Oh, look at that. You can watch the fucking... You can watch the roller coaster from up here. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah, I fucking... I made good use of this path. People that didn't believe my path. Oh, man, this guy's not looking too good. Roxanne, Donald G. Gee whiz, you're very hungry and very nauseous. I uh, I can solve one of those problems. With a greasy pizza pie. Just pick him up and put him in the woods, yeah. I don't, I think he'll prefer sitting over the bathroom. He's, uh, no, he's, he's starting to get, I'm hungry. Why is he so hungry? I think these people have been like trapped in the queues and they're missing the food places. This right here, this is just a very stylish queue. It starts in the tunnel. That's a nice touch. The claustrophobia queue. You go inside, and the agrophoria queue, you're outside. Some nice touches. I'm not good at making roller coasters, so I, I never do wacky shit like that. Can you make food saltier to make people want to buy drinks? You can't, but certain kinds of food will make them want drinks more. I think it's... French fries for sure make them thirsty. Where the fuck is this mechanic? Fucking these people's kids are going to graduate college before this ride gets fixed. I need more shit to do on this path. Because there's a lot of people coming out of it. Ooh, we have the observation tower. That'll be very profitable. Well, it'll be very exciting if I can find a good spot for it. Oh, fucking baby right next to the roller coasters. I wasn't even aware life could get this sweet. And so there's one tile for the path, one tile for the entrance. Doesn't seem right. Does it? Hang on just one second, observation tower construction menu. I'm in the middle of something. I think this is the makings of a very successful ride. As fucking high as you can go, we're going to observe the moon from the top of this thing. That's actually too fucking high. Let's stop at 200. I like to make it a uh, not red. Let's go with a uh, like. Let's go with a white and yellow. Let's match the. There you go. Let's match the observation pod. Open for business. Let's try to trim down on the one the uh, traffic though. So that's another one way. Don't come in. Doppelganger is broken down. You're going to be hearing that a. Uh, You're going to be hearing a lot of those uh, announcement beeps as all the rides break. Hey, McBain. You like my commentary? Thank you. I try. I fucking try. Yeah, they're lining up for this observation tower. I don't know why. I don't know why people love the observation tower. I know they love it when it rains because not a lot of rides are considered indoor rides. If most of your coaster is underground, it's considered indoor. Uh, bumper cars are indoor. 
observation towers indoor haunted house but like a lot of stuff obviously you can see pirate ship is outdoor slide is outdoor roller coasters are outdoor ferris wheel is outdoor thrill is uh the twist is outdoor i think merry-go-round might be considered outdoor so it's like when it rains, the people's interest in your rides kind of flip-flops, and you can take advantage of that. I don't. I'm not one to micromanage my prices. I like to uh, I like to watch the ant farm just go on its own, you know. Uh, TD8 is Baldur's Gate. I hope he plays the original version. The reason we're playing Roller Coaster Tycoon is because I could not get the original version of Baldur's Gate to stream for me. So we do have to play on the uh, Enhanced Edition. So that's... I haven't had particularly good... I haven't had... I haven't heard particularly good things about a Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition, but it's the only way I'll be able to stream it, so we're going to have to go with that. I did try to make the original version work. But uh, that was not fucking happening. Oh, how's this coming? Three medium? That's pretty good. The trick again is that we're near a bunch of rides. It goes up high, you can see all this shit. 219, I'm very worried at how our park value is really slowing down. I think it's the ride aging. This twist is very popular. Let's see what people's problems are. It's too crowded here. That one doesn't count because they're too happy. I'm not going on this ride while it rains. That's a pretty fucking great thing to have people complain about. Uh, I'm going to throw up all over the road. I can't help you with that feel sick like really all we can do for that is to put benches near the roller coasters like keep an eye out for green dudes and see where they run off to all right i don't like this part of it this part can be a no entry let's put a let's put a drink over here Entry. There's other signs I could be using, but uh, actually, you know, the log sign. The log sign might be really fitting. Yeah, the original saga for Baldur's Gate, that's weird, because um, it's like some, I think good old games and Steam's just removed the original saga when the Enhanced Edition came out. I have the original saga, but... I can get it to run, but it's so fucking old, OBS won't recognize it to stream. You're no entry, right? These fucking bums don't even realize they're on private property. Let's get some benches in. We'll keep some benches here for, uh, you know, like if they're about to shit themselves and they need to relax for a minute. Oh, do I see a green face? I see a green face eating a pizza. Are you fucking stupid? I feel sick. This pizza's so delicious. Don't do that. He's all he's also walking further away from the pooper. Alright, there's some uh the, there's not really a lot we can do here. We can put a we can put a no entry right here. I guess we got the pirate ship, so we got some use out of this walkway. No entry. I've seen people get sick on a pirate ship, so do that. Wow, this is fucking gross. Need a bathroom over here, apparently. Yeah, they're probably shitting themselves when they get off the Mouse Tunnel Chase or whatever the hell it's called. What's it called? Mouse Towers. Get that bathroom hooked up. Put it right next to the slide. Because who doesn't love the smell of a septic tank as you're sliding?
Okay, are you open? You're open. The slide broke. I don't. I think that means someone shits in it, or a fat man got stuck. I don't know how the slide can break. Every slide can break, I suppose. Okay, we gotta fucking. We need some desperate measures here. We're gonna start using the powers of God and anime to move these dudes around to clean stuff up. Uh, I'm just gonna remove these uh, lanterns because they're just gonna get smashed. The lamps do look really nice, but they don't do anything. I'm not even sure they increase park value. Well, that park value is just... Not rising as much as I'd like. The, uh, what did I research last? The last thing we got was the fry shop. Let's fucking get some... Let's get some poutine going. There's always a place to grab a bite. Pizza shop. There's the ice cream. And over here. Didn't I have a pizza shop over here? Am I blind? A pizza shop right there, okay. So like right around here. This is where we'll put the fry shop. How long can I call this? Potato Pete. Poutine Palace. There you go. You can fit a decently long name in there. Open for business. We got all kinds of poutine. It's really just anything I fucking want and I pour gravy on it. You haven't lived until you've had Potato po Pete's Gummy Bear Pulled Pork Poutine. It'll maul your colon. This twist is fine. I have no idea why everyone's just in love with the twist. Oh, bumper cars. I fucking love those things. One, it seems like a fun ride. Two, they're actually good in the game. Compact, reliable, excitement rating. People love it when it rains. Let's add it here to our... Um, is, am, I, am I looking at the map right? No, that's poop. That's potato poop. So I want some food here, and I want to put down the Dodgers. Uh, I forget fucking what the Q size is for a Dodger. I think it's hold 12, so I think we want three. I think we want three or four. It should be that hard if we do this. I need to see the actual ride to place the ride. Okay, here we go. We do this. But then, a surprise, we turn it. There. And then I want to terraform this. I got these fucking broken nails. And, uh. Another pizza pie. Uh. Yeah, yeah, more pizza. Who doesn't love pizza? Dodging the music, go. All right, so this place is pretty action-packed here. Look at this. They're just standing on the fucking boardwalk, taking their snappies. Cool. There she goes, 227. We're in year two, so yeah, as long as fucking something that I'm not noticing doesn't happen and we know he's diving our value. I'm actually in the green. Let's cut this loan. Don't have to worry about that anymore. It's an extra three hundred dollars a month. Okay. 
Okay. Sure, my rides with Fox broken. Nobody wants in the haunted house. That was a lie. They were just offloading. Spiral slide is done. Uh, oh. Nobody's even thinking about how shitty it is. Oh well. It's still to generate. It is. It's a little scummy, but it is generating part value for us. I kind of want to squeeze something in next to this railway, but I don't think that's in the cards. No, I don't know what the... I don't even know what we'd fit there. Maybe another slide. <laughs> oh, I wish. Nope, there it goes. You could. You could put a slide there. Oh, hey, Wags. Oh, I just explained this earlier. What resolution are you playing this in? I'm in 1920 by 1080, but I'll show you. If you go to the options and you set your window scale factor, so it's like, this is probably what it looks like for you. You're like, oh man, it's so fucking tiny. What do I do? It's because it's 1920 by 1080. So you up the factor like two, maybe 225, and it'll resemble more like what it was back in the day. I think this, this might be closer to what it actually looked like at 1024 by 716. I play it, I play it too. I like two. Good detail. Still not blurry. Uh, is there anything else I can put here? Oh fuck, did I make that no entry? I did. Well, fuck. That's why no one's getting on the fucking Ferris wheel. Take that one. Oops. Okay, C words getting some business. I guess, yeah, the reason the only people riding these two rides were people that got off the shuttle loop. Let's give these dudes some benches so they don't fucking throw up. Is this coming? Still three? Because uh, as the as the ride decays, they're less willing to pay the price you set. So you gotta be careful for that. See, our park value fucking just took a dump. I just I want a nice buffer so we're insulated from that. That was like a ten thousand dollar drop out of nowhere. Because yeah, the park value should be all of our rides combined. Like, it should be the, uh, the the value of everything on my land, but it seems to be coming and going oddly. Agoraphobia is broken down. We're still making that mad money. We Oh man, what a fucking terrible place to break down. Gotta go to the bathroom so bad. Got a balloon stall. We'll do what we did on Leafy Lakes where we put, uh, we color code our balloons so we can kind of see where people are coming and going from. Up we go. That's our red balloon shop. Put the blue balloons by uh, this ride nexus of fun. Put it next to Potato Pete. He's got the Cuban beat. These are the blues. <laughs> we'll make him the browns, actually, because uh, Poutine doesn't agree with me. Even though I'm Canadian. It's a little too greasy. Red, let's get a green balloon over here. Ugh, I feel bad for the guys that buy the green balloons. This place is a fucking fun graveyard. This is where excitement goes to die. Well, I guess if you were the fucking teenager that had to work there in the summer, that'd be an easy gig. 
Just kind of sit there all day. No one wants to buy balloons at the green one. Open for business. Welcome. I think he actually nodded his head. No one left. Nah, that's stupid. See ya. This was just an empty hill a few short months ago. Now it's just a terribly dangerous theme park. This might be what theme parks look like in China. More stilts. Put the ride on top of the ride. She's going back up. Oh, someone bought a brown balloon. You don't want that one popping on you. Got some broken benches here. Not too many, actually. Just the one. I'm worried we might have a garbage problem because I'm not putting in garbage cans, I just realized. I try to have a garbage can near every shop. I think we talked about that already. Fun fact about garbage cans is uh, you can put them on stairs, which you can't do with benches, so that's kind of... A ramp is a great time to be a garbage can because it's really the only thing you should put there. Lamps don't do anything. We have some food over here. There we go. There's a pizza pie up here. Let's uh, do that. And maybe even just when they're not anywhere near a shop, just put a garbage can anyways, because they might eat on the they might eat on the run, I guess, which is the problem with my garbage can airlock theory we had on Leafy Lakes, where I just box in the food places with garbage cans, but they might walk away. Twist two still hasn't been fixed. What the fuck is the holdup? That's been broken for a long fucking time, game. Oh, he's on a patrol, you tricky dick. So here's the way things work for mechanics, and uh, it was actually in the middle of being fixed. So here's the way things work for mechanics, is if a ride breaks, is the call will go in, and it will call the, um, I think it prioritizes anyone who has that ride in their patrol route, and after that, it pings a random mechanic. So you really want to make sure the guy patrolling that ride is there, because otherwise it could be the guy fucking across the park who's in charge of fixing it. thousand dollars we were not that rich earlier when we paid off the loan fuck now our park our park value is just dropping let's find a little let's let's try to replace this how old are you four years so yeah if we replaced arachnophobia which I hope we can do let's try it fuck am I going to call this one? New file. Diamond Heights, there we go. Um, so I think the super scummy way is you just replace one tile, and that might update the whole park, but, or sorry, the whole track. But the alternative is you, I think, save it, and then you just put it right back. Closed. Close it twice to kick everybody off. Go to construction mode. Oh, we cannot save it as far as I can tell.
Can't open. Uh, what? Oh, the entrance isn't there. Whoops. Open. Built four years ago. Okay, shit. I don't know how to fucking replace it. I don't know how to replace it. That's a problem. Because the ones that we need to replace to get our value up are hidden underground. That might be why they're hidden underground, so we can't just fucking plop them back down. I swore there was a way to save our rides. Nobody in queue line, you're all just gonna be assholes because I kicked you off? Well, fuck you. How do you save a ride? Last breakdown was a safety cutout. What is this? Force a breakdown? Locate the nearest me available mechanic. What mechanic fix? Oh, that's cool. There's some like, little debug buttons there for if uh, you're trying to figure out what the fuck the holdup is. Oh, I've been forgetting to up the inspection time. Because if you have enough mechanics uh, on patrol, they can just keep it tip top for the last second, you know? Keep on life support. All right, I have no idea how to update these rides. They're just going to be bleeding value. See, we're already down to 200 again. How old is this? This is probably our oldest ride. Nope, arachnophobia is our oldest ride. That's weird. Nope, I like claustrophobia is our oldest. What the fuck? These rides are all over the place. Claustrophobia. Oh, agoraphobia. Yeah, agora. I think these are the oldest rides. I mean, they're the center stone of our park. They're very nice roller coasters. Doppelgangers newer, that sounds right. See, I'm really worried about this fluctuating park value because knowing I like it, it'll fucking dip under 200 right at the last second. What is, what's going on here? Put some roller coasters. I think it's been long enough. We know every gentle ride for this scenario, which is, what do we have here? Uh, it's kind of shitty. Let's try to shoehorn the mini maze in somewhere. No, no, I can't. Well, I could, I could just put it here and then make this giant exit uh, pathway that's one way. Hey, maybe that. Maybe that'd be a little dickish of me. definitely wasteful that's the problem is like this the maze isn't bad it's just fucking really wasteful to terraform I think we'll do this I think we'll put the maze here Billy maze here with an amazing new ride could you get the fuck out of my way I can't see where I'm putting it I think that fits It does. Okay, then we just put the incredibly ugly exit. No problem. So one way, and there's our shitty maze, and we'll just make sure that a lot of fucking people are allowed in. Nineteen to twenty people. You want you want that to be the name of the maze? Sure. Billy Maze here. I don't know why these fucking two janitors are so close to each other on patrol. They have a lot of ground to cover. That guy with the brown balloon was way too fucking excited. I fucking love this maze! Also, man, I... I haven't been able to figure out the name of the dueling shuttle loops, but we'll call them God and Anime. 
Because as long as we have God and anime on our side, we can beat any campaign, I think. There you go. Look at that. I should really try to stay on top of my, my ride naming, but the problem is when you get too many. Like once you start having like four Ferris wheels. Like I think we have more than one Ferris wheel. So we have Ferris wheel stay off and Ferris wheel two. Electric boogaloo. Not seeing a lot of greens, just like I predicted. This poor bastard. He got fucked. Has it rained now that I think about it? I don't think it's rained yet. I haven't seen any umbrellas. Oh, I really just want to fast forward because we've kind of got this one we've kind of got this map I want to say we've got it on lockdown but this fucking park value is a mysterious creature there's some oh, it's like it seems like there's some traffic here maybe put a ride here but that's mostly just people getting off claustrophobia and agoraphobia and I don't think they'll want to ride whatever the hell I can stuff in there There goes the grim wolf go. We're about to make a wooden wild mouse, which oh, cotton candy stall we just finished. Fucking candy time. Get right at this intersection, because it's partly their uh, their biological need, and it's partly also where they're going in the park. So if we can uh, find out how people are moving around the park, and that's where we put our food stands, is those ones should get a lot of business. Like Potato Pete's Poutine Palace, he gets a lot of traffic, because if you don't take the train, you have to walk by it to get to uh, Agrophobia and Claustrophobia. This, I want to fucking terraform this, but into what? Uh, can I get, let's see if we can find a wooden wild mouse now, or spinning wild mouse. No, this one's shaped way too fucking weird. Yeah, way too fucking weird. We can find a nice enough one. I'll flatten this hill for it. Because we're in the green money-wise. The Mango Muncher. I think the problem with Mango Muncher is that these stations are always going to be wrong. Like Goofy. I don't like these fucking weird Goofy ones. Do we have... Yeah, I have a bumblebee. We already we're using a bumblebee right now, aren't we? Is there any? Is there fucking no such thing as a small roll? Did I see a giant shuttle? Whoa! What is this? I think you get, um, I think you get brought up the the incline, and then that gives you the power to go through the spiral. Agrophobia still hasn't been fixed. That sounds like a very serious problem. Has there ever been a casino sim game in this style? You know, there was a lot of tycoon slash sim games in the early 2000s, and I tried to play several of them back in my youth, and they were really fucking hit or miss. What the fuck is this? Snake Charmer roller coaster. Um, but yeah, a lot of those tycoon games are hit or miss. I want to make this one duel. That would be a fucking incredible dueling roller coaster. Uh, yeah, there was there is 100% one for a casino, but I didn't play that one. I've played like ones about airports. Theme Hospital was a fun one. There was like a weird hospital, uh, like tycoon in the 2000s that was like The Sims. Like you had to fucking worry about the doctors, like fucking personal relationships. I don't like that part. I don't like worrying about these little wieners. I just like building the things that they pay me money in. I really want to fucking make a dueling coaster with this fucking snake charmer. But I'm not sure where we're going to fit it in. I 
he kind of fits there. Oh, it probably doesn't. Like if we did, oh fuck, that is so much. Oh, I just got an award. Best roller coasters, best value park. Okay, keep getting those roller coaster awards. Oh, I don't want that broken lamp, so see ya. We could do this, we could put it right here. But then we have to worry about giant queues again. Are we going over something or under something? I can't fucking tell. Now we're going over. We're going over your acnophobia if we build it here. I think we'll just flatten this. So that's the queue. This is this is the queue. This is the entrance. So this. So starting on this divot is we have to go what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve. Oh no! Did I fucking terraform this guy? One two three four. Five. I think I did. I think I fucked it up. Can you terraform that toast? Uh -huh. That one I made too high. I already fucking forget where I am. Shit. <laughs> Where is it? There you go. I can't tell if this is what I want. Maybe it is. Maybe I already fixed it. No, 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 no. What was, what was that? That? Oh, wow. That is not right. No. If we could do this. Except we're still too fucking high. Never mind. Never mind. Full rides junk. Demolish. Built it over too far anyways. Okay. That is the fucking colors weird now. Okay, there it is. 4286. That one's Excitement 5, Intensity 7. Excitement 5, Intensity 9. Jesus Christ. So we need to terraform another four. I mean, that was a lot of money gone, but we we have a lot of money. Money in your bank account doesn't do anything if you're not con if, if you're not doing a company value scenario. Just that's wasted money. Okay, this, this, this. I want this to be a long one. How the fuck is it still? This is fine. Fix this because there, there, and 
now we just need to fucking fiddle with your shit. Fuck, that's good enough. Uh, give that a test run. That thing is a fucking abomination. We need to make sure there's a toilet right at the exit, by the way. Like, not even at the bottom of the stairs, because if they turn the wrong way, they won't get to use the shitter. It is right at the exit. Just like, they give you a t-shirt that tells you to use the fucking bathroom. Open for business. This thing's too... What the fuck? Lower the launch speed here. We need to get that intensity to not be red, or nobody will fucking ride it. Well, not enough people to justify the cost. This ride might have been a wash. You gotta be really careful when you blindly build shit after you terraform. We're coming up on year three, and we're not too... Okay, this is good. High and high. Hi, 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 welcome. 223, all right, again, we've got the fucking, we've got some wiggle room, which is probably gonna collapse on us. I'm gonna call it the snake charmer. It's not near any other rides, which is kind of hurting its value. Um, it's it might be close enough to uh, arachnophobia. It might get might get credit from arachnophobia. What's the winning condition for this map? The winning condition is park value two hundred thousand, which we're at. It's just you know it's it's fluctuating a little more than I'm comfortable with. We make we're making really good money though. I just made the junior roller coaster. No, we're about to make the junior roller coaster. Okay. These things are fucking behemoths, but we do have a lot of room on the water. Judge Roy scream? What in the fuck? God damn it, these things are huge. This is a pretty tiny one, actually. Microphobia. Oh, that looks like a very reasonable uh, station as well. Where the hell am I going to put it? Because it's like, there is technically room, but you got to fucking go on a little waddling into the wilderness adventure to find it. Oh, wow. I'm just high in the sky like apple pie. I like how for, there was one tile I can put it on, which just puts this roller coaster on the moon. There's, there's, <laughs> welcome. Just everything is below this one roller coaster. No, no thank you. Do you have anything that's not fucking gigantic? New vehicle below rail, what the fuck? No more roller coasters. I want thrill rides. We did all that, and we just got a fucking a car for the chocolate log. The crazy caterpillar. Like, are these dueling? I think they're dueling. It's 
fucking a, like it's a behemoth. Look at that. No thanks. Um, that's a, that's a tiny dueler. I think they're. I can't tell. It's like there's two sets of stations, but it might just be like a continuous circuit thing. The hedgehog. Gotta go fast. I can't tell where the fucking exit is on that one. It's like we're gonna be layered pretty haphazard on top of each other if I allow this kind of shit. We could do this and try to like build some gentle rides out on the lake with it. Maybe not. Maybe there's fucking nothing else to do over here though. Oh! Oh! Ho, ho, ho! That might just work. I just want to replace it with the tarmac. Try my idiot brain. <laughs> that works. Okay, now I think we got it. Holy shit, how do I keep being wrong? Holy shit, I just cannot get close enough. Do this. No, it's not fucking flat. <laughs> there. The crisis is over. Let's do a test run of this, make sure it doesn't kill anybody. Ooh. It's got two trains. That's going to be a heavy hitter, I think. That's going to be a heavy hitter. toilet right at the exit. Okay, there we go. Got it? What a weird roller coaster. Okay, okay, just takes a while to get started up. We're about to enter year three. Hopefully this hedgehog gives us some wiggle room. I think that we're just bleeding value on arachnophobia and all the, all the phobias. I think all the phobias are fucking up our value. To 
some weird snap here. Do I have a drinky poo over here? That's yeah, all the way over there. Whatever. And then some benches. For when you boys get in the tucker out there. And I do want a one way here. That bathroom is just for people that got nauseous on the hedgehog. How are we doing? In Excitement 6, this is a $5 roller coaster. Open for business. New ride attraction available go karts. Go karts are like the only thing I'm comfortable building custom because they turn on a dime. Fifteen hundred guests. We've come a long way. I think we've doubled what we started the campaign with guest wise. But uh, I'm not really confident in utilizing this track properly. Not the track, the uh, the map. So we'll just kind of be like haphazardly placing these pre-mades. Boulder Mobile is fine. Jesus Christ. You want the largest roller uh, go-kart track in the world? This is Excitement 22, downside. You will die of old age on it. It's, it's also $28,000. It's more money than I own. So that's a slight problem, you know? These things are just fucking excitement farming behemoths like this one. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, where's that? There was a nice little tiny one. Mega Trap, which I believe is an official one. It's an official Chris Sawyer approved go kart track, and it is. Eh, it's not that big, actually. I was expecting something more unwieldy. Bumblebee is broken down. Yeah, that'll happen. Oh, you can see the train from here. I'm almost tempted to run a path over. You know what? We're going to try to run a path over. Destroys the tree automatically when I flatten it. I like that. Let's see what we can do. Because if we can get a path over there, we'll take off the one way. Yeah, I think this does it. Up oh, and at home. That's the cue. We undershot ourselves a little bit here. No, do this. We made it. So whatever, you guys can come in through here if you want. No idea what the fuck I'm gonna put here, but welcome. Welcome to this part of the park. want to put an information kiosk here so there's oh man i can just put an information kiosk above claustrophobia couldn't i yep they made it exactly three by three for me fucking beauty now i just got to make sure i don't delete and anyone falls on the track and gets crushed wow this ride is so cool i'm dead Yep, they're lining up for Hedgehog. I like it. Oh, shit. They got a problem with the rain or the price? The prey. Uh, the rain. The rain. The rain's fine. There they go. They're fucking lining up. I forgot to color code my umbrellas. That's my fault. Another greasy pizza. Can't have too many of those, you know? Celebrate your victory over the maze with a slice. All right, fuck it. I'm just going to delete this and hope that I fucking catch anybody that falls. Oh. Um, I can't see him.
I hope you're okay, guy that fell. I can't see you. Here you can get a map. You can watch the roller coasters take off. This is a fucking happening place to be. It's the Nexus. Your soul is trapped in the Nexus. You may never leave this place. There's some. Uh, there's something we could put here. What? Uh, another twist. No, that was way too close. I really need some thrill rides. Park value 242. All right, I think we got enough wiggle room to wrap this up. So yeah, we're. Uh, this one was pretty close for our uh, one park per night plan. Hey there. Pretty con. Like, look at this. We spent ten thousand dollars on rides, and we only lost four thousand. So we make a lot of fucking money. I want to put a slide right here. The slide will snug right in. I don't even care if it's uh, worthless. It's a perfect fit. Oh! Ooh! Well, that's going to be a problem. 24 people have died. <laughs> we might not finish the campaign now. Oops. Why did you crash? Brakes failure. Mechanic 2 is heading for the ride. Yeah, everybody just stay cool. Reliability 37%. Oh, man. Park value didn't go down. Just, uh, you know, people might be too terrified to come fucking visit now. Just my fucking luck. The rides are rigged to break on the last year. Well, there's your problem. There's some bones on the track. I'll just hit it with a hammer. Oh, we've got some steamed hams, though. We should be fine now. Also, I should probably fucking... Eat. The souvenir stall would help, but I need rides more than I need... Uh, Need rides more than need souvenirs. Let's get some steamed hams. Steamed hams. Spiral slide one is broken down. I really need to. Yeah, I think I think after after Diamond Heights, we'll start naming every ride so I can keep track of them more easily. At least we've got the power of God and anime on our side still. Reliability, 44%. What the fuck is going on? My rides on Leafy Lake are much safer. All right, these things need to be checked every fucking 10 minutes now, because who woo? We'll just uh, hire a mechanic who does nothing, but he, he, his job is just to fucking watch those. All right, mechanic seven. Your job is just to patrol these. I don't know how you get to it, so we're just gonna fucking kinda haphazardly give you a route. And that's your job. Alright. Nobody will probably notice that there was deaths on this one before. Do a test run, make sure she doesn't fucking explode on us. We're still gaining guests. Is this the. Is that the ride that kills you? Awesome. 254, I think we're good. I think we're good. Man. Further than I've ever been before in Roller Coaster Tycoon. What a time to be alive. Well, not for those 24 people or whatever. They're dead. What a time to be dead for them. But for us, what a time to be alive.
And we did it without any beautiful gardens. Oh well. The snake charmer. Do people like the snake charmer? Yeah, kinda. Satisfaction is 75%. It's also very popular. They just can't fucking get there in time. Let's see if that queue fills up. I kind of want to just make the queue go right to the exit so it can hop right back on. I think that's what I'm going to do. Just get right back on if that's your thing. Kind of... More like a hill again. There. Yes, Anime has broken down. Oh no. Oh yeah, the fucking. People might start dying on us at the end. I guess if the brake cuts out, you might fly backwards and die there. My park has received an award for being the park with the best gentle rides. That's good. Oh man, you don't look so good. Cindy? Very hungry. Cindy? There's a pizza shop right there. Like, how is this my fucking fault? Another steam ham will fix you. Let's do it like this. I don't want to kick him off their park bench. There's a shitter right there for you. There's some room for, there you go around. I don't know what to do with the entrance, but for the exit, we'll do this. Let's give me another janky entrance. I'm not good with uh, elevations. This part. Uh, I look here yet. I really don't want to mirror go around that big. There you go. Yeah, when one breaks, Justin, the other one falls out of sync to keep going. But once they're fixed, they'll sync up again. Arachnophobia and agoraphobia should be going in queue line. Open up. I've got a good feeling people are willing to get on claustrophobia. The ride that's so fun, you might die. I'm not going on claustrophobia. It isn't safe. Fucking Hazel, you're a coward. Fuck you, Horace. Literally get out of my park. They'll get on it once the rain stops. Have faith. Two forty-six. It's starting to drop. I kind of want to just fast forward through this year, but I really don't want to lose. I don't want to lose the last fucking second. We got the uh, we got the armored pirate ship. 
drop a couple of those. Maybe don't make it fucking 30 feet tall in the sky, though. fucking entrance or exit in there. This is in the way for some reason. Well, fuck you then. I would like to put it here. This area is a little empty, but something's, something's fucking This is what we got ocean for. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. You're in a fucking building here. Fuck. Okay. Pirate ship open for business. Put on the techno music. Absolutely fucking right, Dan. You can only board that ship on one side. You can only board on the wooden dock. Okay, that sucks. Could have put it over by the... Uh this thing spins, it spins all the way around, right? That's its thing. There she goes. Look at that. Swing mode, nine swing. Nobody's even thinking about claustrophobia. Everybody wants on agoraphobia. No, there's people in claustrophobia again, suckers. You might literally die. I just need this fucking park to stay. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, in a perfect world, we replace it, but I don't know how. It's a shame there's no button to do that, because obviously that's what people will want to do sometimes, is just replace all parts. Park value 250. We're not that much higher than the goal, but we did meet our goal. Like I said on more than one occasion uh, tonight, I've never beaten a park value scenario. They normally make me very nervous. But I, I don't think our park's too much of an abomination, and we still won. Can't believe I haven't fucking researched a ride yet. We're working on the launched free fall. That's a great ride put two of those right away put one right here so there's room and then we can put one over by the uh, merry-go-round that should be enough to round us out can't start construction on anime yeah whatever man a free fall is three by three so let's get started on preparation for this This would be the ride. I don't know if the exit could be here. I think the car, are you in the way? You are, that's a problem, okay. But, you're on the way here. Thank you. 
the exit would be this. And maybe... No, wait, wait. Drag a little further back. Yeah, I think that'll be good. There's a good preset free fall, which I used in Leafy Lake. Come on, come on. 9th of May. It's today. It's gonna be it's gonna be done. Give me my fucking inverter ship. Nobody else die in a roller coaster accident, please, by the way. Launch free fall, there she is. It's a good one. The escape hatch. Whoops, I didn't take far back. Well, there goes that merry-go-round. You can hear it. You can hear its death cry. And there. This thing churns through customers pretty quick, so we can do this. Bathroom right there. Let's put some food here for the hungry adventurer. Uh, uh, ice cream. I don't think we have any ice cream around here. It's a shame that you have to research all the food because it doesn't really have an impact on the game. It just, you know, I personally would like a nice range of food available. 233, like we just lost 17,000 park value. Get a nice tree here. Yeah. I don't see myself putting in too much work on this one. I don't like the hilly terrain for decorating, but probably stick with Leafy Lakes as my uh, personal time park. But hopefully, we're about to beat the shit out of this, and we can move on to the next part in our next stream. Now we're losing guests. You have one fatal crash, and these people start getting gun shy on me. Making a thrill ride. You know what? Let's just fucking nut up here. Wonder if having handymen cut the grass helps with park value. Is the grass affects park rating, but it's such holy shit! I didn't even know it could go that fast. Um, so handymen cut the grass, which increases your park rating. Someone figured it out, but they also figured out that the increase to your park rating is so minuscule. As long as you can personally handle the grass looking shitty, you should tell your handyman to never cut it. I didn't even know you could run it on hyperspeed. I never noticed that before. All right, we got the top spin. Let's get some French flies. See, look at that. Great spot right there. I think we can just do like this. I hope. That might be too close to God. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Perfect space. Open for business. Will be as broken down. Yeah, that'll happen. Let's see if I can stuff an escape hatch in here. Oh, 
Sure, we can put the exit right there. That's for the entrance. I wonder. Whoa! What was the whole fucking thing? I just had a brilliant idea. Ah, scratch it. Not as brilliant as I thought. Another block that I missed. Open for business. There's shitter nearby, yep. It's right here, so you're good to go. I think we've got a lot of broken benches, but oh well. We'll just put some new ones in. Park value, 290. What the fuck? Actually, I wonder maybe if a ride, when a ride breaks, is I don't get its park value until it's fixed. Maybe. That's my wild theory at this point. It's just wall-to-wall -wall rides, and we, we, we almost have 2,000 guests like Leafy Lake, but I just... Leafy Lake's slightly more organized. There's a little more order. This is just chaos. Like a fucking theme park for kindergartners. But in just a few short moments, well... October year three, I suppose we could just burn out the clock. There's not really anything else to do. I right, see what this new ride is. The 3D cinema. I'm very scared of running at a top speed because it's like, it might fucking freeze the game or something. Don't all rides lower in time. Could that be affecting it? You're right, Celador, in that the rides do decrease in value, but the problem is, is my value will go down, then it'll shoot back up. That's weird. Oh yeah, there's some things I didn't get to do with this one. I didn't get to have multiple umbrellas, because that also helps me identify where they are. I think that's because there's... No, I, th that was my fault. I, I, I didn't color code the umbrellas in our information kiosks. We also never unlocked the... Um... No, never mind. The souvenir shop also gives us umbrellas. I should. I have to remember to color code the umbrellas in our information kiosks so we can see where people are when they buy stuff. Kind of helps you vaguely guess the traffic patterns of your park. But, yeah, I think we're just going to maximum speed through this and end it. I mean, there's some nice... This is like a pretty hustling, bustling part of the park. You've got God and Anime. You've got an escape hatch. You can see Bumblebee in the up top there. The twist. The maze off to the side. Arachnophobia. Yeah. We're just going to wait up the clock here. Thanks for watching. This is, this is pretty much the rest of the stream. I'll occasionally check our park value. $300,000. I think we're fine. I think we're good to go. I guess I'm on classical Roman theming. I don't remember approving that research. Something about this park, I think the rides are more prone to failure. I know that rides do have, not rides, I know that uh, 
scenarios do have modifiers like that, like, oh, people are harder to impress, or they won't come, or they have less money, or so on and so forth. But I think the rides are actually more prone to failure on this map, because I have got an anime are identical to uh, the shuttle loops I have in Leaky Lakes, and they never break. We just unlocked swans for the boat hire. I don't know why I'd want a boat hire on this map. Well, I guess it's something for the people to do. It doesn't matter if they get stuck or anything. Yeah, I want to say maybe if they break. If a ride breaks, it doesn't give us value. Ah, whatever. We've won. We've won by a very large margin. $90,000 in like a uh, few days. And, uh, yeah, we got to see that one roller coaster explode. Is it still, is it exploding again? What the fuck is this smoke everywhere? Someone just smoking a joint? Time since last inspection, 70 minutes. Uh, please inspect this every 10 minutes. Nah. Uh, he must be in the fucking union. Now this park got busy in a hurry, and we won. I don't even know what the next one, I don't even know what the next scenario is. I always gave up on Diamond Heights. I think I may have glanced at it, like I just like panned the map around when I was younger, but I've never played the next one. Yeah, we have two days to lose ninety thousand part value, or we're, we're we're good to go. Right. Oh man, we actually all we we came really close to two thousand guests at the last second. Neat. Of course, I didn't break two thousand guests till like year seven. So I guess this park's doing pretty well for itself. Are you okay, dude? He is just, I think he's looking at his map like a fucking yokel. This pizza from Pizza Stall 4 is really good value. I don't micromanage my food prices. It doesn't seem worth it. There we go. To achieve, see, this is where things get tricky. Is You have to achieve your park value of at least 200,000, but every time you complete a mission is they tell you your company value, which is different. So, uh, you know what, just, we will save it just if I uh, do feel like a glutton for punishment and come back and try to make this park a lot nicer. What do we have for next time? Evergreen Gardens. Convert the, oh fuck, I remember this one. It's like a giant fucking nature reserve. That's going to be a tricky one. We just got to stuff a thousand people into it though. That should be easy. And Bumbley Beach. That looks like another easy one. The challenging parks? I think we might never do the challenging ones. Because I'm not very good at the game. So we might just stick with the beginner parks and go from uh, pack to pack. Holy shit, there's a lot more than I thought. Even just fucking... We'll never do real parks. We'll never do these. I think, I think there's a very good chance we'll be able to beat the base parks for Roller Coaster Tycoon. We've got a lot on these ones, though. Wowie. And Roller Coaster Tycoon, putting a dent in that would be nice, but I don't know how... Oh, man, I don't know how much time we want to spend on Roller Coaster Tycoon, because, I mean, one stream per park. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, shit, yeah, maybe not. Maybe not fucking every single beginning park, or we'll be playing this game for, like, six months. But next time that you come by, it's going to be Evergreen Garden, so I'll see you then.